Hello to all of my Sagittarius. This is Queen Amun-Ra coming to you with your general reading. Happy Freedom Friday. You may be watching this video on Thursday, but happy Freedom Friday to each and every one of you all. This video is for the 8th of September through the 8th of October. Let's go. The moon is in Cancer. Um, and you already have those questions for the moon in Cancer in the previous reading. So the questions are just supposed to be thought invoking. Um, a lot of people are trying to figure out, did I make the right decision? How do I feel about this? And it's always helpful to know what phase the moon is in and what that looks like. So let's do it. All right, Sagittarius, let's go. I'm saying wish fulfillment for you. If you can just put the manhole cover over the past. Here we have the nine of cups, the five of cups, the ace of swords, um, the lover's card. Everything is fine. And also the six of swords. All right. So here we have the lover's card. I see some kind of partnership in business and or in love coming somebody's way. And really you getting everything that you want in the trans, you know, this part of this transformation, but somebody got to stop talking about the past, like replaying it over and over and over again, like a broken record. Somebody's going to have to say, Hey, you know what? I I'm going to have to sail away from it. I need to stop talking about certain things in this rebirth. Uh, I'm trying to move on. And so source is saying to you, everything is fine. See? Everything is fine. You do, you're do you going to have a breakthrough. But a breakthrough does feel like a breakdown, right? Feel like a breakdown in, in information. And I feel like I'm going crazy and so on and so forth. Until one day you wake up and say, hey, you know what? I choose to not make room for that anymore. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus on you. Somebody could already be in a relationship with their twin flame. But if that's something you want, you're going to have to release your ex. You know, something is calling you from the past. You know, something as soon as, you know, you you know what I mean, Sagittarius. As soon as you you feel like, okay, I'm over whoever is a part of the past. Here comes, and you you ready to start dating again. So you say, you know what, I think I'm, you put it out into the universe. I think I'm ready to start dating again. Here come your ex trying to, you know, send you a text message. What you doing? <laughs> like what? <laughs> so, or, or somebody trying to resurface from the past or some kind of emotion from the past is trying to resurface about whether whether it's a love interest or business, you know, partnership. You know, something else could be resurfacing from the past. Source is saying you're gonna have a breakthrough when you move on from that. Like, you know, stop letting something rent space in your head, you know, overthinking something. Just move on from it. Here we also there it is the moon card. Leave the past in the past. Just let it fall by the wayside. It was overwhelming for you. Uh, to a point where you weren't able to articulate it. And so here we have the Four of Cups. So you don't have to sit around and post it up and ruminate over it. Matter of fact, sources saying the more and more you talk about how you may have been manipulated, lied to, talked about, or whatever the case may be, it's actually going to have an adverse effect because it's keeping you outside of your vault door, emotionally wounded. When you see all of this water here, these are emotions. And so sources saying, I'm trying to grow your money. Don't let your don't allow your emotions to cut your money in half. I'm trying to grow your money. You somebody looks like they're 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 very talented and gifted, you know. And so source is saying eventually you will be victorious at being able to physically move on from something. So congratulations to you. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations for moving on from something and just leaving the past, all the past emotions, you know, behind that was overwhelming for you. So yeah, there's some temptation there. Here we have the Seven of Cups. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Empress card and also the Two of Pentacles. So somebody's going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of their shoulder with two energies in particular, but you have to be the person to make that first move. I need to release that, you know, and so you're in moving into a season of abundance and prosperity um, and then also an additional stream of income because, again, everything is being replaced. Sources want to make sure you stay laser focused, but there's that pesky little, you know, enemy trying to, you know, that snake bite that you've outgrown. So something is definitely trying to, to um, tr um, tempt you to vibrate on a lower frequency, but you got it, you got it under control. So, so I don't see you vibrating on a lower frequency. I see that's where the breakthrough is coming in. It's like every time you think about certain things, anything can trigger. I mean, like hearing a name of a person who you felt like hurt you or betrayed you or, or manipulated you or lied to you or about you or whatever in the past or played you, whatever. Hearing their name, hearing something, somebody ask a question about them can trigger emotions. Sources saying to you, or if you're following them on social media or you happen to see them, I mean, anything can trigger that. But source is saying to you, take the blindfolds off. You're actually better off without, you know, certain energies, you know, in your life that's overwhelming you. So source is saying, hang in there with yourself. You're not delusional. You're not losing your mind. You're not going crazy. You're not imagining things. 
you're highly intuitive. A lot of times people run from their gifts because they're like, why can't I turn my brain off? Like why, why am I having all these dreams and downloads? Source is sending you a lot of information about a lot of things. So you're going to have to be the person and not just go along with the flow. You're going to have to be the filter, right? So if it's negative and it's counterproductive, I need to get that out of my universe quickly, right? So I see you moving forward. See, this is what I'm talking about, high priestess energy. That's what I was saying. Somebody is highly intuitive. So, you know, somebody is about to give birth to a bunch, some more abundance and prosperity. So that makes you super sensitive. You think you feel now, and the moon is in cancer. This is high, high priestess energy. So somebody definitely is highly spiritually gifted. Like you, you probably have psychic abilities or all the clairs, clairvoyance, claircognizes, sentience audience you probably see here just know stuff that other people just don't know right so source is saying that makes you super sensitive and that sensitivity is actually a gift so you're going to have to learn how to do things to flush out the bad or negative so that you can make room for the things that you want here we have the um, two of wands so i do see you moving forward and i do see you um i do see you possibly traveling getting near a large body of water or crossing over a large body of water or going on a cruise or being near a pond or a lake or something like that. Sagittarius is going to help you flush out, kind of calm things down. Remember when the moon is in cancer, cancer is a water sign. We're not talking about anybody that's a cancer that you know. You could have cancer in your birth chart. But source is saying to you, you pick up on, you pick, you feel things very deeply. And so when the moon moves from one sign into the next sign, moves into cancer, then you feel a double need for this big celestial hug. That's why I always tell people, find out what your moon sign is. Find out when your water gets low, your emotions get low, you get distracted or you get you start overthinking stuff and it starts evaporating your joy. How do you replenish that, right? So somebody is learning what their demons are, learning how to put those demons under submission and um, learning how to move on from things. So things are balancing out the way they're supposed to, uh, Sagittarius. But again, your immutable signs, you, Pisces, um, Virgo, and Gemini are all mutable signs. And so you want to use your adaptability to your advantage, not to a disadvantage. So whenever you have negative thoughts about people, places, and things that's coming in, if it's that overwhelming for you where you feel like you're about to pull out your blowtorch or sarcasm, when I say blowtorch, I mean like sarcasm, say something that's going to hurt folks that later on you like, okay, maybe I went a little too far. It's, it's time for you to make sure you know how to nurture yourself and get to safety, right? Protecting yourself. So take time to breathe out. Take time to breathe out. Whenever you're going through things, take some time to breathe out. Take time to breathe out. loss. Sometimes you learn true offering through loss. You make a passionate invitation for love to take over and you bring her own and over to and bring her own plan instead of the egos. Yeah, somebody's going to have to really release that ego, edging God out. Don't worry about somebody else. You can't edge God out, right? You ego is trying to edge your divine spirit out of yourself, right? You know, then what would happen to this physical body, right? Just laid to rest. So you can't edge source out. So here we have goat energy. 13, fearless I am in the path I choose for I've never been led astray, always finding my way. That's right. <clears throat> so this is where you really have an opportunity to be greatest of all time. Goat energy. And so learn how to control, you know, learn how to filter out the negative and anything that's attached to the negative that will cause you to be negative sources like listen get rid of that ego find find another you know something else to do that's going to keep you staying laser focused and balanced out so clean your space this is part of your transformation so good idea we're at the last quarter moon phase sagittarius a good idea is when we're moving through from one, one phase to the next and i usually will tell you a moon phase where you and i drop the questions below if you don't see them right away, it's only because when I pre-record videos, you know, I can't put the questions below. But as soon as the video uploads, I can start putting the questions below. So if you just check back shortly after the video goes live, then you'll see the questions, right? But those questions are supposed to be thought invoking to help you to decide. And you can create your own, by the way, obviously. 
um, to help you decide, hey, do I feel good about leaving some things behind, some negative emotions about certain things? And do I need, if, if that's triggering for me to a point where I'm emotionally drained or so distracted, I, I forget what my purpose is on earth. Because clearly somebody's purpose is to heal people. Here we have four, I am stable. You bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock and the heart and your hard work and your perseverance make you a dependable friend, partner, and uh, colleague. And FYI, Sagittarius, everyone that is a healer and has psychic abilities, including self, you know, who is all the clairs, clairvoyance, clairsentience, claircognizance, clair audience has been called crazy. <laughs> You can either buy into that or you can accept your gifts and say, hey, listen, you know what? I'm crazy. I'm crazy gifted, <laughs> you know. So, again, bottom line is it's it, you got to take it all with a grain of salt because the people who um, there are people who really, really are um, grateful that you've stepped into your life purpose and that you are helping them on their journey to find a light within themselves. And then, of course, the people who don't understand, people always attack what they don't understand. So, again, you got to take it all with a grain of salt, Sagittarius. Do your thing. Like I said before, you're trying to line everything up. And so every time you feel like you're moving from one phase of your life into the next, we have eight major moon phases within one cycle. Every time you're moving from phase to phase to phase, like right now we're in the last quarter moon phase, and then after the last quarter moon phase, we move into the waning crescent moon phase, and then we close it out and start a whole new cycle, right? Look at your universe and see, you know, do I feel negative about certain things, and how can I clean this up? Do I need to have a conversation? Do I need to go ahead and start the process of removing people from my universe? Like, what do I need to do? for me because we don't have commit we don't have dominion over other human beings so what do i need to do for me to clean up my universe right who needs to get out of here like i don't you ain't got to go home but you got to get out of here who needs to get what needs to get out of my universe so i can keep a steady flow of creative energy ideas feeling like i made a powerful and smart move for myself you know feeling like you know um emotionally my water is clean like who what do I need to release at the, so, you know, take advantage of these phases. But like I said before, you're fine. Every, I'm telling you every single person, especially, oh my goodness. And if you were raised in a religious <laughs> background, if you had a religious upbringing where you're not supposed to believe in this quote unquote kind of stuff. Whew. So like I said before, you know, you, when and if that was the case and this and I don't I don't have any issues with church at all so I'm just I'm just helping somebody to understand that you know if if you were raised raised in a religious background or religious upbringing maybe what worked for you know parents grandparents and so on and so forth um you're just taking things to the next level because some of them may have told you you know you may have had dreams and that came to fruition you may have been able to see things before they happen you may have seen you know like seeing movement in your room you know feel like okay what's this like what you know you may hear things that other people don't hear so all of those are your gifts embrace them affirmations for peace that's right. Waves of peace are washing over my body, period. I find stillness in the eye of the storm. I'm stronger than my circumstances. I release all feelings of anxiety. I am free from overwhelm. Today, I smile because I'm alive. I am blessed to be here now. All is well and I am healing. You are. So, you know, if if crazy is the worst thing somebody can call you, hey, say thank you and keep it pushing. <laughs> say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the compliment. But anyway, that's what I have for you, Sagittarius, and I will see you all on Sunday. All right. Happy Freedom Friday. I will drop the questions for the moon and Leo below um, this video, and I'll try to pin them to the top of the comment section. Hopefully those questions help you. That's what I have for you, and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye.